I'm happy to be joined with Major Bond Jennings with the Lloydminster Salvation Army. Today we're talking about a campaign that the Salvation Army puts on every year across the country, the Red Kettle Campaign, which is currently going on now. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me again. Of course. Now, for anyone who may not know or haven't seen them around, can you tell me what the Red Kettle Campaign is? The Red Kettle Campaign, it's, it's our main fundraising for our local uh, funds every year. We, we do it in the months of late November and, and December up until Christmas Eve. Uh, it's... We, we raise money by, by people putting in donations in the red kettle, we call it. And, or we have what is now uh, tip tap machines that people can donate 20, 10 or five dollars uh, using their debit or credit cards, whichever they prefer. And uh, it's like I say, it's, it's our main fundraiser for the year. It's been around uh, a long time and uh, the funds stay in our local area, so. And how many locations are there around Lloyd for the community to donate to? We have uh, five locations, Canadian Tire, Sobeys, Walmart, Superstore, and uh, on Fridays and Saturdays and some other days during the week, there's co-op as well. And the kettles are there from 10 in the morning until 6 in the evening. We leave the tip tap machines at two locations overnight at Canadian Tire and Superstore. That's great that debit is an option for people. Now, since this is your biggest campaign and this isn't just in Lloyd, it's put on anywhere there is a Salvation Army. How important is this campaign to the organization? It's, it's very important to us. And, and we're very appreciative of those who donate to us through uh, the Red Kettle campaign. And we're very appreciative of the uh, store locations that allow us a space in their location. Uh, because without that, we I'm not quite sure what we would be able to do uh, with fundraising to, to be able to help people. Uh, I mean, my goal this year is through the Kettle campaign is only 62000 through our donations, uh, we're open to raise uh, up to uh, to make a two hundred thousand for the year, but that's probably only one quarter of we, what we need to function and to operate and to be able to help people here in Lloydminster. And going over the last couple of years, how have you seen the community outreach within this campaign? This this year, we we are doing very well. COVID played havoc with us, uh, of course, for the previous two years. Uh, 2019 was a very prosperous year for us here with the Red Kettle campaign. Uh, we exceeded our, our goal, and it was great because the next two years, 2020 and 2021, were not great years with regards to fundraising COVID. Uh, with the restrictions and stuff, uh, we couldn't get the people to volunteer to help us on the kettles. This year, we're doing good. We've probably just missed about 20 to 30 hours on, on the kettle. We're still looking for more volunteers. If there are volunteers out there who want to don't uh, give of their time, uh, especially next week will be a very good week. The last week before Christmas is always a good week uh, for the Red Kettle campaign. So we're we're still looking for uh, the volunteers to help us. But it's and again, it's like everything else in this this community. The people are amazing with their giving, and they are showing it again through uh, our Red Kettle campaign this year. And that's awesome that you're able to jump right back into things after the last couple of years. Going off of what you said about volunteering, if anybody does want to help out in any way they can, how can they get involved? Well, they can call our office. Uh, there is a number on the kettle stand my, uh, for uh, people to call if they want to volunteer. We have a sign on the kettle. And, uh, you know, it simply says that, do you know that two hours of your time could feed a family for a week? Because if we were to look at the average of what we can raise in, in two hours on the kettles, which averages between 
$150 to $200. So that would give a family a good uh, round of food for, uh, you know, a couple of weeks or even a month. So they're able to contact us at our office at 780-875-9166 or email lloydminster at salvationarmy.ca. Awesome. Now, just to reiterate, how long will this campaign be running for? We do up to Christmas Eve. Uh, uh, at two o'clock on Christmas Eve, we do four hours that day at each of our locations, two at co-op, but we do until two o'clock uh, Christmas Eve. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Like you said, this is one of your major campaigns, and it's not just here in the border city. It's everywhere, and it's important to the communities that you serve. So thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you luck this year, especially after the last couple of years. We we hope. It's, we're, we're doing good. We're over two-thirds of the way to our goal. So if we can go over our goal, it will certainly help with the deficit that we faced last year. Awesome. Thank you.